In a world of speed and adventure, a single wrong decision can turn a moment of freedom into a dramatic chase with the police. Let's explore real-life stories of reckless drivers and the valuable lessons about traffic safety they leave behind. A high-speed police chase in Florida occurred when a suspect was driving a stolen Mustang at breakneck speed, weaving through other vehicles on the road. Not only was he driving recklessly at high speeds, but he also ran red lights at intersections. This reckless decision ultimately led to a severe collision with another vehicle at a crossroads, creating a chaotic scene. His dangerous driving not only threatened his own life, but also posed a risk to those around him, resulting in serious consequences for everyone involved. Fortunately, after the accident, everyone was safe. The suspect was arrested shortly after and faced multiple charges. Have you ever wondered how police handle tense chases on the streets? Let's explore some thrilling situations right now. The chase began when two suspects fled from authorities on Interstate 95 in Brevard County on a Saturday. Police discovered the vehicle around 3.13 p.m. when Crosby began driving recklessly, swerving between other vehicles without regard for everyone's safety. Dot the police initiated a pursuit after the suspects attempted to flee from a traffic stop. The chase quickly ended when the police successfully executed a pity maneuver as the vehicle attempted to pass FHP in the emergency lane, putting an end to the suspect's reckless driving. Adam Crosby, 21, and passenger Samantha Simpson, 30, were arrested shortly afterward and faced various charges. The chase between police and a motorcycle unfolded as two suspects sped through the streets. The narrow streets felt so tense, you could cut the air with a knife. The suspects desperately tried to evade capture, racing around corners filled with determination and fear. The sound of the engine roaring, creating a feeling of breathless suspense. Despite their best efforts, the police persistently followed closely behind, like shadows that couldn't be shaken off. Ultimately, in a decisive moment, one of the suspects jumped out of the vehicle before a stairway, realizing that all their efforts were in vain. The police apprehended both suspects and restored safety to the street. At 11.05 p.m. on July 8, 2023, Police stopped a vehicle on I-4 westbound near SR-559 
and observed two vehicles, an orange Ford Mustang and a white Porsche Panamera, traveling at high speeds. Police estimated their speed at about 100 miles per hour, recording a speed of 104 miles per hour in a 70 miles per hour zone. As the police passed, both cars accelerated to 125 miles per hour, weaving dangerously. After notifying the Tampa Bay Communications Center about the Mustang's license plate, police tracked and executed a pity maneuver at mile marker 27, causing the Mustang to spin but not sustain damage. The violator continued to speed, crossing double yellow lines and colliding with the patrol car twice, causing it to lose control and crash into a fence and a utility pole. The driver was arrested while the passenger remained buckled in. The chase began in Polk County and ended in Hillsborough County. On February 9th, 2024, around 5.30 p.m., I, Officer Shearer, was patrolling Interstate 75 near MM 155 when I spotted a black motorcycle speeding. Despite activating my emergency lights, the suspect, Julian Angelo Zamet, born in 2001, did not slow down and continued to exceed 150 miles per hour, weaving through traffic and driving on the shoulder. <laughs> As he attempted to exit the highway at exit 143, Zamet lost control and crashed onto the grass shoulder. Police quickly apprehended him and took Zamet to Shorepoint Hospital for medical evaluation before transferring him to Charlotte County Jail. All of this occurred in Charlotte and Lee Counties, Florida. On October 20th, 2022, the Federal Bureau of Investigation requested assistance in apprehending a suspect from Indiana, Irvin M. Roberson, 36, in Gwinnett County, Georgia. When Roberson left his residence in a 2022 Dodge Ram, police attempted to stop him, but he began fleeing at high speed, driving recklessly and endangering pedestrians. The police executed two PIT maneuvers to stop the pursuit, but Roberson continued to evade capture. Eventually, he crashed into another vehicle at the intersection of GA-20 and Samples, bringing his vehicle to a stop. As he tried to flee on foot, he was apprehended by the police. 
He was then transferred to the FBI for prosecution on charges related to the incident. The crash resulted in minor injuries, and the entire chase lasted 6.9 miles. One morning, police in Tallahassee, Florida, during a routine patrol, discovered a drunk driver driving erratically on the road. The individual was driving at speeds up to 130 miles per hour, prompting police to initiate a pursuit. The chase was tense as the driver continued to drive recklessly, endangering those around them. Ultimately, to end the dangerous situation, police performed a pit maneuver, causing the vehicle to veer off the roadway and come to a safe stop. This incident serves as a clear reminder that driving under the influence not only threatens the life of the driver, but also endangers everyone else. Always remember that safety is paramount, and if you're unable to drive, choose a safe mode of transportation. A woman in Florida, Melina Logan, 27, stole a 2024 Honda Civic from a dealership after a test drive and led police on a high-speed chase. On May 9th, she visited a Honda dealership in South Miami for a test drive with a salesperson. When the salesperson exited the vehicle, Logan immediately accelerated and fled. Florida Highway Patrol spotted the stolen vehicle and quickly pursued her. Logan reached speeds of 90 miles per hour, making dangerous lane changes in heavy traffic. Eventually, she stopped after crashing into several cars and veering down a concrete embankment, then jumping into a nearby lake. Although police threw a rescue rope to save her, Logan refused assistance. Reckless driving and stealing a vehicle not only jeopardize her safety, but also that of others. Such actions can lead to serious consequences, and safety must always come first. On the night of June 6, 2024, police were stopping vehicles on Interstate 40 when they spotted an SUV traveling at 86 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. When police signaled the driver to stop, the driver, Alex Wilson, failed to comply and fled. During the pursuit, the SUV was driven recklessly and the driver discarded a bag containing illegal substances from the vehicle.
After executing a TVI maneuver, the vehicle crashed into a ditch. The driver was handcuffed, and police discovered a total of $609, along with various controlled substances in the vehicle. The driver, Nicholas Papacristo from Jonesboro, Arkansas, was charged with multiple offenses, including reckless driving and obstructing governmental operations. This incident reminds us of the importance of adhering to traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety. On April 7, 2023, around 9.24 a.m., Florida Highway Patrol was patrolling in Palm Beach County when they received a report of a stolen white convertible BMW. The vehicle was traveling south on Interstate 95 and was being tracked by its owner. An officer spotted the vehicle at a Speedway gas station in West Palm Beach, where the driver, Shancello Gazic, was pumping gas. After driving off, Gazic lost control and fled on foot. Police arrested him after he jumped over a nearby wall. Gazic had the BMW key in his pocket, indicating he was the one driving the stolen vehicle. He was found to have a suspended learner's permit and a warrant for failure to appear in court. Gazic was charged with multiple offenses and subsequently taken to Palm Beach County Jail. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. What do you need my name for? Introduce yourself. You haven't identified. I don't have to introduce myself. Okay, there you go. Then I don't have to give you phone numbers right now. I'm not asking you for it right now, but I'm up. On July 20th, 2024, at 8.44 p.m., while patrolling northbound on I-75 with Lieutenant Carey, police spotted a black Durango SRT traveling at 97 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour zone. The driver, John Tavius Hood, did not stop but suddenly accelerated, initiating a pursuit that reached speeds of 140 miles per hour. He drove recklessly, weaving between vehicles and nearly colliding with many others. As he entered the I-285 interchange at over 120 miles per hour, Hood lost control while turning at 70 to 80 miles per hour and crashed into the guardrail. The horrific accident severely mangled the vehicle, with the front and sides crushed and the headlights shattered, creating a chaotic scene on the road. Passenger D. Foster and driver Hood were found with a stolen handgun. This incident highlights the dangers of fleeing from law enforcement which not only endangers oneself, but also poses risks to others on the road. Fleeing from police can lead to catastrophic accidents beyond one's expectations. Accepting responsibility and stopping can save many lives, including your own. We've all likely made traffic violations at least once, but this man chose to flee from the police, leading to a high-speed chase. 
Florida Highway Patrol spotted the stolen Cadillac as it sped down the highway and immediately began a dramatic pursuit. The vehicle swerved between lanes at speeds exceeding the limit, causing panic among surrounding drivers. Police decided to execute a pity maneuver to stop the flight. When the pit maneuver occurred, the Cadillac spun around before coming to a stop on the shoulder. The suspect inside the vehicle offered no resistance and was quickly apprehended without further incident. At around 10.35 a.m. on January 2, 2023, the Georgia State Patrol's Criminal Interdiction Unit coordinated with the East Point Police Department to apprehend Matthew Gaskins, 19, who was wanted for multiple felonies. Gaskins was driving a stolen Jeep Grand Cherokee and was fleeing on Washington Road in East Point. After crashing into the backyard of a house, he continued to flee recklessly, leading to a series of PIT maneuvers aimed at stopping his crime spree. Gaskins damaged several vehicles before returning to Washington Road and stopping at 3100 Washington Road in a parking lot. Ultimately, Gaskins' vehicle was disabled after crashing into a utility pole, and he was arrested without further incident. At 1.57 p.m. on August 29, 2023, Florida Highway Patrol attempted to stop a black four-door Mercedes on State Road 33, but the driver fled. After successfully executing a Piat maneuver, the vehicle came to a stop. Derrickson Perez Irizari, seated in the passenger seat, was subdued, while the driver, Karen Nohelia Diaz, attempted to resist fiercely and escape from her handcuffs. Police had to use pepper spray to subdue her. At Polk County Jail, 
Diaz admitted that the FN 9mm handgun discovered by police was hers and had been stolen. She was charged with assaulting law enforcement officers and possessing a stolen firearm. This incident highlights the tensions in police work. On November 14, 2023, a blue Porsche Cayenne reported stolen from Collier County was spotted by a Florida Highway Patrol officer. The vehicle sped down the turnpike near Southwest 42nd Street in Miami-Dade, weaving past multiple other vehicles. When police attempted to stop the car, the driver continued to flee on foot, but was quickly subdued by police. This incident underscores law enforcement's determination to prevent crime and ensure traffic safety. At approximately 7.05 p.m. on February 24, 2024, during a tense patrol in Lee County, Officer Juan Rosado spotted a green Nissan Armada driving dangerously. When the police activated their emergency lights to signal the vehicle to stop, the driver unexpectedly accelerated, jumped onto the sidewalk, and caused a serious accident with a Dodge Charger. The chase became dramatic as police deployed a PIT maneuver to stop the vehicle. Eventually, officers approached the driver, Alexander Matthew Rodriguez, who admitted to having a poor driving record. Upon searching the vehicle, police discovered a plastic bag containing controlled substances leading to multiple serious charges against Rodriguez, turning the pursuit from a speed incident to a matter of potential life-threatening dangers. At approximately 1.45 a.m. on April 3rd, 2024, officers from BDPS spotted a silver VW Jetta fleeing from Birmingham police. The suspect, wanted on felony charges, recklessly ran a red light, initiating a chase at 11 Mile and Greenfield. Even while driving on three flat tires, he continued to flee until being stopped by Southfield police. 35 approaching Evergreen, still westbound. Southfield's blocking the uh, intersection for us. Speeds were 35, so I just went through a red. Back off. Set enough to go southbound, that's all. When he raised his hands in surrender but refused to open his door, police had to break the window to subdue him with a taser. Ultimately, he was arrested without injury, 
and taken to Berkeley Police Department. On April 4th, he was arraigned at the 44th District Court, with a bail set at $50,000, awaiting the next legal proceedings. This chase has made it impossible for the driver to take another trip. On April 6, 2024, at around 4.58 a.m. in Los Angeles, California, police discovered a driver dozing off behind the wheel. Officers immediately activated their warning lights and ordered the driver to pull over. Things took a turn for the worse when the driver failed to comply and sped off. Just minutes later, while attempting to flee in a Lamborghini, the driver lost control of the vehicle at high speed and crashed into the median barrier and several trees. When police arrived, they found him far from the wreck, unable to regain consciousness. The severe impact had split the car in half. The suspect, identified as 51-year-old Elliot Dugan, had multiple outstanding warrants and felony charges. The car he was driving was also reported stolen. This chase took place on Route 125 and began when two young men riding motorcycles at high speed caught the attention of patrol officers, sparking a dramatic pursuit. During the chase, the rider dangerously weaved through traffic, dodging through tight spaces in an attempt to evade the police. However, the officers stayed close behind, giving him no chance to escape. The driver hit the police car to make the car lose control, but the police quickly balanced the car. In the end, in their efforts, the two young men still could not escape justice.